What's good, everybody? Romero17 here. We got ourselves the whole patch notes for everything that's coming in tomorrow. This patch should be live around... I think the usual time that it was for UFC 4 was around 11 a.m. or 12 p.m. Depending, it's around that range. Latest could probably be 2 p.m. But I know it's usually around that range. I would have to check the ranked championships to see the timer. Because usually when the season ends, that's when a patch drops. So I'll have to take a look at that. But that's my general estimate. And so looking at that, we got news about the patch. We already had the patch spoilers yesterday. Now we have the full patch notes. Be aware that people are looking for stuff tracking, tracking, tracking. They mentioned tracking in the spoilers. It's just mentioned in a way where it's um, it says fix various issues with strike targeting and warping closer away from opponents unnaturally. So those are issues that involve the tracking, you know, strike targeting. That's tracking. So now we got that out of the way. And they have a couple other things here. But of course, I mentioned in my last video, if you go to the EA official discord. You'll be able to see the patch spoilers there. So anything that's not listed there, that will be over here. So for new fighters, we already knew about this ahead of time. Amir Albazi, Yan Janan, new vanity rewards. And they did say new alter egos will be added next week. So that probably means about four new, two actual new fighters and then two new alter egos. I guess that's pretty cool. And now we have gameplay, right? Gameplay. Go back on the gameplay real quick and the spoilers. They were mentioning the changes for like the stamina. They had snuck them into the live game early, only like a portion of it, in order to like emergency patch it, but the full finished version is not in this patch. Whether they'll add it in midway while this one is out or just at the end of this patch cycle, we will see. But they pretty much assured us, all right, this is going to be in, and I'm just going to give you a little wink wink. It could have a little bit more uh, nuances to it other than simply whiffing and whatnot. Could have to do something with, I don't know. You have to figure it out, but... Um, It'll, it'll be nice. It'll be really good for y'all. But for gameplay, this is huge. I've, those of you who've been on my channel for those, so long, I've talked about this time and time again. Slow down walking recovery after striking. Fighters now have to complete their full recovery before they can walk after throwing strikes. The slower walking recovery implemented in this update is intended to reward more thoughtful distance management and counter-striking tactics. What does this mean? Okay. The big issue in this game... And not even just this game. It was even a little bit in 3-2. Definitely in 4 and definitely in this game. People didn't really have to watch. Once they understood what combo ranges were. Their footwork really didn't matter. Because they would use the strikes only to close the distance. Knowing they can miss the first two. But the recovery on their frames after they would whiff a strike and whatnot would be perfectly okay. And they could continue to strike. Now that this whiff. Like walking recovery is tied into whiffs, it's tied into throwing strikes in general. So now this is kind of going to force people, when you go and throw a strike, if you whiff bad, you whiff bad. You're going to have to use some type of defensive maneuver. You can't just glide out of range. This affected things both ways. Whether a person was using somebody bruising forward with three, four piece combinations time and time again, and you try to counter them, and of course, if you had really good time, you could still counter them, but it still made it much more difficult than it should have been because they were able to recover that much faster when they really shouldn't have been. On the flip side of that, if you had somebody like Wonderboy or Conor McGregor, you could whiff some really bad shots and the game will glide you out of their way ever so perfectly and you'll be avoid getting hit by counters. So that's a really great addition and I can't wait to try that out. Fighters now need to wait a bit longer to lunge in, aka quick step and close the distance after throwing a strike. That pretty much means there are some people, and I, I didn't mention this because I didn't want the whole community doing it for a month, but essentially, if you went forward on like the minor step, you were able to basically erase your frame like the frame disadvantage that you would have after throwing strikes and continue to keep free flowing combinations now that's done and that's no longer going to be an issue so those of you who are abusing it y'all know who y'all are you're cooked replace the animation of min minor lunges the new minor lunges have a more free flowing look to them that's cool so new animations for the side steps the front steps the back steps so i'm interested to see how that looks Add a specific blocking attempt animation while holding high block to defend against leg kicks. So a new animation when you're blocking leg kicks. So instead of the dude kind of like dropping his head off to the side and then lifting up his leg, they'll have guard the side of the head when the opponent throws leg kicks. Okay. Okay. We'll see how that looks. These two are referring to the super sped up strikes when you're holding a button. So things like the lead leg body teep to the question mark kick when timed a certain way or... 
lead body kick into spinning back kick, things of that nature that are super sped up, especially if you didn't have any perks that boosted up speed for spinning strikes and whatnot. Those are super freaking fast. So they tweaked those and some of those strikes got extra range. So you were able to glide across the floor. We all know how much we hate that gliding and they made it that much worse. So you thought you would be out of range and it would still land on you. So that's good. Fix an issue that allowed fighters to change their movement direction when transitioning from a strike initiated by pressing buttons to a strike performed by holding buttons. Okay, that may, okay, okay, I understand. If you are moving, you're like moving the left analog stick while you're throwing a rear hook a certain way, you input a rear hook, but it'll change it to an overhand for you. And that can lead to some either good things or bad things. So that's a good fix. I didn't even know that was a problem. Add a new eye and forehead swelling visuals. Okay, that's cool. Rare cases of exaggerated sudden pushback reactions when fighter strikes. Okay, so that means when you're, somebody's getting hit with strikes, sometimes the game will push them out of range and accidentally save them from a subsequent strike, depending on where they are. So that's pretty good. Fix very rare instances of a knockout and doctor stop check overlapping. I don't know about very rare. I saw a lot of them clips, but okay to fix that. Fix several incorrect interactions when exchanging kicks when attempting to clinch. It is now harder to clinch an opponent while they're throwing a click, a kick. Excuse me. Um. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty good, right? That's pretty much an indirect buff to kicks, because you know you're turning, you're throwing the hip, you're landing a shot with a kick. It should disrupt their clinch attempt, so that's pretty good. Fixed a subtle animation issue with the lead body crane kick animation. Now, I don't know if that means like the faint or just like some bugginess that happens. You guys have seen uh, that clip of Moroccan Lion turning shit into the Luke Kang bicycle kick. It is not good, brother. That is some evil shit you're doing. So, I don't know if that fixes that, but I hope it does. Whoop! It's going all the way down by accident. Hmm. Fix an issue in practice mode or gameplay would start a little before the fighters would appear on screen. Fix an issue. Okay. Gameplay would start a little before the fighters would appear on screen on practice mode. Right, right, right. Fix an issue where the fighters would appear on the wrong side in practice mode. Red corner would be on the right side. Okay, yeah. Flip floppy issues in practice mode. And fixed wrong input displays for some spinning kicks. That's good. All right. Big one. Grappling. Increased how much... The takedown denial window can vary, especially due to grapple advantage. I wonder how much takedown offense is going to play a part with this because I really would like that to play a bigger part, but this is already good. Takedowns that are set up well, which are common at a higher level of play, will now be harder to deny, whereas poorly set up ones common at a beginner level will be easier. So that pretty much kills mindless shooting, like mindless shooting, like a person that's not timing their shots or landing shots and then and then actually like, you know, trying to shoot underneath a strike, assuming, you know, the striking stuff is tracking and all that stuff needs to get fixed too. And that's what they said they did. So I shouldn't be seeing any crosses track me on a damn t double leg takedown unless I'm Stefan Struve or something trying to shoot it on DC. But since now GA is taking more into account, we have decreased how much of it is conceded by holding high block. Okay, I can roll with that. The muscle modifier can now be used for several additional transitions. There, all right, so muscle modifier is by holding R1. So if you were to try to go for a getup currently, you hold R1 and you could speed up the getup. Only problem is it took too much stamina and it made it not even worth going for. So let's continue here. Using the muscle modifier will make the transition much faster by the higher stamina cost. This will assist against stalling tactics. The additional transitions that allow the use for the muscle modifier are basic transitions from bottom side control, so half guard, up, half guard to the left or right, depending on what side of the screen you're on, and then going to sprawl. Basic transitions from bottom crucifix, okay. And basic transitions from top sprawl to backside. Thought we no money. Okay, so that kills the, the stalliness and sprawl in the front headlock. Stamina cost for using the muscle mo modifier has been halved. Very good. Decrease the damage dealt by ground strikes from side control and the crucifix position by 25 percent good fix an issue where the top fighters grapple hud could indirect this is the hud watching stuff people talk about indirectly reveal the actions of the fighter on bottom while in full mount this issue previously made denials easier than they should be so before in mount you could if you saw where side control was that was the direction your opponent was going in mount 
and Mount is already a horrible position to be in an MMA and in a video game where it's denial heavy and there's submissions you have to be worried about and especially issues like you know delay and everything else like that it is not a good time my friend not a good time fix the so that's a really great fix they got rid of the HUD watching and Mount very good fix the temporary unplayable state that occurs if an upkick is thrown after a flying armbar denial okay so this is talking about all the camera issues it's talking about all the camera issues let me just double check everything real quick okay guillotine reversal okay that one was pretty bad denial from sprawl okay after pull guard sweep camera issues will start in practice mode aha uh -huh. this one we mentioned in the spoilers fix an issue preventing time spent in submissions for from counting for dominance in judges scoring submission entries and forcing desperate escapes were already working properly good only spending time in a submission which is a smaller factor in scoring wasn't being counted now let me know if y'all want me to do a video explaining the judge system on ufc 5 because now that they got this fixed it should fix out a lot of other issues that were going on and i can give you guys the whole deal on how the judging system works on ufc 5 so let me know in the comments if you want that Animation issue is pretty much the T posing that happened there. Stalemate bug. If you try to go rear naked choke against a little single leg and you didn't have it, it forced a stalemate. Fix an animation issue where fighters will initiate a bicep control block from the single underhook while standing against the cage. Okay. Fix the minor. Okay, so animation issues. Control visual for Imanaya Roll and Moose Preview. Cool. Very rare occurrences of delayed referee interactions. That's good. Fix issues that. Affect the moves preview for the Kimura. Fix an issue that affected the moves preview for the armbar. Okay. Now, AI. Now, y'all already know this. I'm mainly more of an online type of guy nowadays. Especially with grappling striking. But the stuff for the AI matters for those who play offline. Because more of the player base plays offline than online. So, we'll list this out too. Fix an issue that prevented the AI from performing an arm triangle from full mount. Okay. Frequency of turning takedown attempts from the AI. That's great. Granted the ability, <laughs> the AI the ability to fake their submission battles. That's gonna make career mode a bitch. And the higher AI difficulties, the AI skill and timing used to defend leg kicks have been improved. Ah, they didn't need help. They didn't need help with that shit. On higher AI difficulty settings, the AI will tend to throw more punches during the ground and pound combos before finishing with elbows. And it will now choose not to use an elbow as frequently when throwing a combo. Ah, uh, okay, because it was too easy to counter. Fix an issue that allowed AI for Mike Tyson to perform takedowns. Mmm. Fix an issue with the judges scoring in extremely inactive fights. For example, the type of fight that would probably only occur when labbing. Okay. Online adjustments. This is big. Ooh. Reduce the cost uh, for online career mode. Reduce the cost of unlocking moves. Increased maximum prestige to 20. Opponent's hub will no longer be hidden in higher division matches. Fix an issue where single and double leg takedowns will not gain any EXP if they were performed during an online career match. Fix an issue that occasionally caused significant input delay after a health event occurred. That's huge. And I was also in ranked online too. Oh, -ho! that's huge. So same thing with the HUD. Improvements to matchmaking. We'll see how that works. Because, I mean, if y'all saw Goat stream a little bit earlier today, he was getting no fights. He's currently one on the leaderboards. You couldn't get any fights whatsoever. Fix an exploit where players could cause an automatic loss for their opponent. You know who you are. Fuck you. Fix an issue that occasionally caused significant input delay after. Yep. That's great. Menu adjustments here. Uh, more offers. Okay. Turn offers permanently. Store menu knob displays dot badge when the store receives any major updates. Okay. Miscellaneous fixes. Okay. Fix an issue when a button is held to skip to the end of the fight replay. The replay will be seen from the store camera angle. Ah, fix an issue where VRR was causing input lag. So, okay, that's a big part of things. Fix several rare occurring crashes. Okay. Fix the issues that would occasionally cause the game to hang when switching between different menus. That was huge. That made the game feel so slow. Several small updates to some of the UFC fighter appearances and likenesses. I would have liked them to like put a list of who they changed so we can get a comparison. And various minor bug fixes and improvements. And then yada, yada, yada here. You know, regular stuff. Okay. So, in terms of uh, Big Patch. Big Patch. We'll see how it plays out 
tomorrow. The the biggest things for me are things here gameplay wise. We don't see anything with regards to negative GA here, which is unfortunate. So it's gonna make it hard for me to rate this above like a seven or even an eight if I'm being super generous. But these are still huge changing wise, lowering the reduction of the muscle modifier, speeding up sprawl from being stally, and of course all the camera fixes are huge. And then of course striking wise too, the, the walking recovery that's going to be big so people who actually know how to counter strike and manage the range accordingly this is a huge huge buff even for offensive counter striker this is a huge huge buff to uh those play styles and a lot of people are going to be hurt by this because the game was saving a lot of people with the way that they were playing and but that's how that's what we know right the game i said it before the game dropped i said it even even for ufc 4 EA's games always come out with some type of issue whenever it drops. It's a tale as old as time. So, got ourselves a good patch. I'd probably rate it right now. I haven't played it yet, so I'll give it a 7 out of 10 with all the news so far. Mainly because um, I would have liked to see some more stuff on negative GA. And of course, it would, I know the stamina stuff is going to be a little bit later, but I would have liked it right now. But everything else, how it all adds up, especially stuff with the takedowns, that's really, really good. And we'll see how that all plays out tomorrow. So I am going to bust out a stream tomorrow. And we'll get some fights in. Whether it be on ranked or online career mode. Or whatever it's going to be. And we're going to have some fun. Remember 17. I appreciate all of you. I'm out of here. Much love and take care.